Like that. According to Paul, is to make you wise into salvation. It's not. It's not there to tell you everything about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not ready for this. Next guys will play frisbee. What's up guys, this is Will Witt with PragerU. Today we're in Manitou Springs at Summit Ministries. I'm going to be here for the next three days. Let's do it. Summit's main mission is to prepare a generation of leaders who will stand for truth and fight against evil and injustice. Right. We're about to go to our first class, we just have to showcase these snacks. Look at this. They're mine. Alex, you can't have these, okay? And the Skittles, mine too. Summit Ministries hooks you up with the snacks. If you get lost in Chicago, all you have to do is take a right, and another right, and another right, and another right, and you're right back where you were before. If you do that here, you'll never be heard from again. All I wanted was a map that describes the contours of the world in which I find myself, right? That's all I wanted. And you say, but that map, that's only, that doesn't describe everything accurately. I know that. As I grew up, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of role models. So, like, to hear this stuff for these young people who are here, I mean, I can't even imagine what they take away from it. I mean, Jeff was just fantastic, and it was, like, so eye-opening for me. And Like, I never heard anything about postmodernism or, or what to look out for as we go into college or being taught things. So to prepare these students and, like, hear something like that when they're younger is really cool. Tomorrow, we got Ultimate Frisbee, and I get to go school all the kids. Got this. Let's go. It's Let's game of the century. Team, say hi to the camera. Your faces will be remembered forever in infamy. We've had burgers the whole trip. That's it, baby! Woo! Woo! Guys! Team! That's, that's what you want. But he, his most famous book by far is the Communist Manifesto. He said, the communists disdain to conceal their views and aims. They openly declare that their ends can be attained only by, get ready to underline this, the forcible overthrow of all existing social conditions. If you read the rest of the Communist Manifesto, you realize that Karl Marx has in mind social conditions that he wants to be forcefully overthrown. The government has to be overthrown because the government very cynically made laws like thou shalt not steal only after the people who run the government already stole everything. The church needs to be overthrown. Karl Marx went after the church more harshly than any other people group. In the Communist Manifesto, he said, we're going to take the children away from the parents for most of the day and use our schools to indoctrinate them in socialism. And then when they come home, they won't believe their parents anymore. It'll tear apart that relationship. And as a result, we will be able to raise up a generation of revolutionaries. 
So just be aware of that. This is a current issue. Lots of people around the world struggle with this, and lots of people in America are flirting with it as well. So how do these ideas fit together? Marxism, communism, socialism. What did you think of Jeff Meyers' Marxist class? Again, I keep saying this, and Jeff does these great sessions that are just so informative for like high school and college students who never would have heard this information before. Like I didn't even know what communism was until like I started to get older and actually have to research it on my own. Right? I didn't know what socialism was. And now these kids are learning at an early age and like learning the evils of it and how bad Marxism is. It's, it's really awesome. So A plus on the communist lecture today. like this. This is a no-judgment zone. It's about 6 a.m., 6.05. Uh, got this early manly man hike. We're not even at the hike yet, and I'm exhausted. We had to walk to the hike, and I thought that was the hike. But, here we go. Let's do it. So far, Alex and I are in last place, but, you know, the turtle wins the race, so we got this. You ever seen Lord of the Rings? And they got the part where they gotta climb up the, the stairs to get to Shelob's lair. What I feel like right now. <laughs> the stairs. <sighs> Alright, there's a final push. Alex, oh my god. <laughs> I'm falling. <laughs> we got this. this is so steep. How you feeling? Tired. I'm out of shape. I'm out of shape. It's not a good shape. We're almost there. Right up there is where we're going. Look at this. This makes it worth it. Good stuff. Oh, I got donuts. Yourself. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. I don't know if you've all met Will, Witt, and Alex yet up, guys? from Prairie View. These guys have something to say? We love Southern History! Thank you so much, Southern Ministries, for everything, for having us here for the last three days, and it's been incredible. Thank you so much. This video was made possible through our partnership with Summit Ministries. In a world of great dishonesty, Summit helps you tell the truth. Visit summit.org slash PragerU to learn more. Someone else was up there earlier. Yeah, who was up there earlier? You need a push up? Ah! Alex, please help me get down. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. To help keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.